Every year, dogs are stolen from their families, darted with poison and captured as strays, or bought from decrepit breeding facilities. They're crammed into wire cages and piled onto trucks that transport them to the market streets. Many of the dogs do not survive the trip and die of shock, starvation, or dehydration. The rest arrive traumatized to Yulin, where they are brutally slaughtered. It's quite sick. I think it's very cruel, like how they actually kill the dog. It's quite disturbing. I think the way they slaughter the dogs is, is as the video says, it's inhumane. Uh, wow. Uh, I, I, I didn't know that there were places where people do that. I feel so angry now. <laughs> I'm an animal lover, so it's very sad to see this video. You cannot just go into someone's house, take their dog, and then eat it. What's an ethical way of killing an animal for food consumption? Scarly, the chicken rice down the road I'm eating, it's dog meat, who knows? Yeah? If it's their culture to eat dog meat, so be it. It's like Australia is a culture to eat kangaroo meat, so be it. Okay. South Korea is very similar advanced, to Singapore. Yeah, advanced. advanced. Yeah. So if they eat dog meat, Singapore doesn't eat dog meat. And if we went to South Korea, would you try dog meat? Everybody eat meat, you see. And dog is not an exception. Some things that are locally accepted might not be accepted somewhere else. For example, in the US, usually they fillet the fish and they have you know, just a piece of fish. Whereas over here, we have curry fish head. They may think it's disgusting, they might think it's gross, so it all depends on the culture. I mean, if it's just for a ritual or some sort, like the video said, I mean, can they do with something else, you know? What's the difference between dog meat and any other kind of meat? So if it's locally accepted that in those countries people eat dog meat, then I think it's fine. But there is a humane way of treating your livestock. Now you have all this like grass fed beef and like you know, free-range cows and chickens and goats and whatever. It's the same thing. People have an issue with how you treat the animals and where you get the animals from. I don't know, are there health benefits to eating dog meat? Eating dog meat is like their culture, but because general mass media always says like, oh, dogs are so cute, puppies so cute. It's like how like, oh, you cannot eat, like rabbits, it's gross to eat rabbits now because we think rabbits are pets. Once it's you not, label yeah. an animal a pet, yeah. It, becomes, it becomes not okay to yeah, it it's suddenly deemed it's wrong weird. to eat it. Yeah. I think we, because we humanize and personify dogs to yeah. become to elevate them to the status of being human. Yeah. Like man's best friend. Yeah, yeah. If man's best friend was a chicken, how? What if all the chickens, cows and pork that we eat, uh, the, the big corporations, they just go and kidnap and then steal it from other places, then how? How? Tell me la. Tell me la. how la. I don't even want to eat kangaroo meat. <laughs> yes, I will. No. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that dogs can sense when you when you eat when you have consumed dog meat before. So yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. But I don't encourage and I don't want people to eat dog meat. After all, it's really a grey area because dog you can have a relationship with, you can interact with the dog. How can you bear to eat an animal that look up to you and even treat you like a friend? Are you going to eat your family? Because after all, your family member is still a friend. Are you going to eat your, your, your mom, your dad then? I mean, it's, it's very sad. Especially when it's very cold. I think the Eskimo, like when, you know, they, they use dogs for like their slits and yeah. all that kind of stuff, right? And they, when they have to eat the dog, they eat it for warmth. For survival? For survival. Right? It's how we actually treat the process of the food. Then it comes up, but in, the, in order to survive, we have no choice, but to eat meat or dogs if yeah. if there's only a dog left. So what's wrong with eating a dog? Mm. But it's how you treat the animal. But I do respect other culture who eat meat, uh, who eat dog meat, I mean. It's their culture and I respect it. If it's out of survival, I'm okay. Everybody has an opinion, but you don't have to place judgment on others. That's why I don't think I will advocate or I will be really against it. I'll say no to dog meat. I mean, even in the past in Singapore and Malaysia, uh, maybe in the 40s, 50s and even 60s, you can find dog meat in Singapore or Malaysia. So it's not something that uncommon. Nope. Nope, nope.
They shouldn't. Yeah, no yeah. lah, Singapore cannot lah. Yeah, yeah, Singapore will only do it if the if they if they think the masses demand it. I don't think this will ever take place. And if some, I believe there might be a small group that might encourage it, but with our law system in place, I don't think they will ever encourage it. Yeah, I think there will be a lot of like politics if we happen to have dog mates in Singapore. They can allow it if the dogs are treated or brought up in a way that is humane and uh, they are slaughtered in a way that it causes them no pain because how is a dog different from a cow, a sheep or a chicken? If you were stranded in a, uh, on a deserted island and there were only dogs and humans, what would you eat? <laughs> <laughs>